what is up fam welcome back to leslie john's tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs we're gonna do your what's the tea reading okay see what comes out for you remember these messages y'all could be either you're going through this situation someone you're attached to or someone you were attached to and the what's the tea is whatever energy i pick up on okay this could be happening outside of you this could be your brother sister mother father whatever all right what's going on with scorps what's going on with scorpio please spirit what is going on with Scorpio? We have beauty. Bottom of the deck is wild. Number 15, number 17. 7 plus 1 is 8. 5 plus 1 is 6. So this could have been about a love choice. Somebody could have chose to go towards this beautiful person here. Only to find out they were a snake. Mm -hmm. so there is a snake at the top of the deck here. Have faith. Selling out. Yeah, somebody could have inner child, self-sabotage. Somebody could have been dealing with uh, inner childhood wounds, you know, in their ego type of energy here. And they could have went towards something off of based off of ego here. You know, they were willing to sell you out or let you go or sell their souls. To the, I don't know. Okay. Uh, when somebody should have had faith about a situation, but instead they went towards something that looked good. Um, now there is this energy of somebody being very patient Someone tapping into the, to, 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 to. <laughs> someone tapping into like their sacral and solar plexus chakra energy, where they were able to like take that sexual energy, the emotions and things like that, and create something beautiful here. Unleash your creativity, and create something beautiful, and it it looks like it turned out really good. How teachable are you? If you took it as a teaching moment. You used it, you used that energy, and you poured it into something creative like say your art or your music or your clothing whatever you know whatever your creativity is Scorpios are very creative okay so we don't let's just say that we don't I'm just saying <laughs> let's see but um somebody went towards something and there's a snake in this corner somebody didn't see the snake somebody fell for the okie doke is what it could have been here because the snake is right here somebody got mesmerized by somebody's beauty or by the gold upon her neck by the drapery by the three-dimensional things what's going on with scorps please spirit what's going on with scorps or male male or female what's going on with scorpio number one princess you can be your own knight somebody realized i can save myself spaceship don't be afraid to sing somebody could have found their voice within this here as well so somebody again somebody could have created a song or created music out of this or you need to universe we're all just stardust and gray endings are inevitable somebody is seeing an ending as something powerful it's like a rebirth energy is what i'm getting like somebody is seeing something as a rebirth like Realizing that they never needed somebody to support them or to rescue them in some sort of way. They could do it themselves here. Let's see. Let me read the book on this. Number one. Here we go. You may be in a dire situation you need escaping from. Rest assured you have the power within to persevere. You already know you don't need to be rescued by a charming prince or a chivalrous knight in shining armor. You've got your own shield and sword, and God's help anyone who thinks they can do a better job. So again, you rescued yourself. Maybe you depended on somebody, or you were hoping that somebody would, I just heard, rescue me. Whatever they be saying. Okay. Maybe you thought you were going to have to depend on somebody to rescue you, or to help you through something, make you happy. I don't know. Okay. And you're realizing, I don't really need that. I got this. Okay. Let's see. What's... What's this energy about for Scorps with this princess and the beauty? There's one person with this beauty card. They use their looks. They use like their looks, the things that they have, materialistic things to attract people. And it's like they may feel, they may, uh, what's a uh, damsel, damsel in distress type of energy. I'm getting somebody with that energy here. And then I'm getting like this one energy, like just a, it's like, I don't, honey, self-sufficient, self-sufficient, independent type of person. Like, I don't need nobody to save me. <laughs> like, I can do this. 
baby. But I mean, if you want to ride with me, you want to rock with me, that's cool and all. But I don't need somebody to save me. But then there's like this other person that may play helpless, like, oh, oh, I can't open the mustard. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's going on with sports, please, spirit? Don't want to hear it falling apart. Oh, my goodness. Falling into pieces, all torn up. So, so somebody didn't want to listen to somebody or somebody was ignoring maybe the advice of other people or. Okay. Doing drugs, sex shop, destroyed, shattered, broken, fucked up. Somebody didn't want to hear something. They didn't care. They this could have been advice. This could this princess, you can be your own knight. Maybe you were the person that was like, hey, yo, I want to be careful. That don't look like what it appears to be. You could have been the one to tell somebody that. And they was like, nah, I don't want to hear that. Fuck you. You know, blah, 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 whatever, right? And this person went for it. Only to find out that it was not only this doing drugs. It could have been an addiction. This person could have, you know, had a sex addiction, drug addiction, drinking addiction, something like that. Something that they overindulged in, it destroyed something. It broke something, it destroyed, it fucked something up. And now this person's whole life is falling apart. All because they went off of something like looks or materialistic things or they were mesmerized by something on the outside. This is like falling, this, okay. This is like, okay, this person over here, you know, could have had to get it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? They weren't born with a silver spoon in their mouth. They had to get it out the mud. They had to make stuff happen. They had to build themselves up here, you know, love on themselves and all that stuff because they done been through some hard times. So this person knows how to fight things off, you know, see things for what they are, listen to their intuition type of energy. And somebody could have seen this and was like, I mean, I'm not saying they're not gorgeous. They're not beautiful, but baby. Why do why is my intuition saying stay far away? But somebody didn't want to hear it because all they fell for was the beauty. Was that outside glow? Look at how her face is glowing. She fine. Okay, she cute. So I can see it. But somebody didn't realize behind that with that red dress was toxicity. Was a snake. Oh my goodness. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? Total drama. Sick. Somebody is sick. Oh, my goodness. Somebody going through it. Oh, my. Listen. 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 Arguments. Putting them in their place. Game over. This person could have been controlling, manipulative here. Fake apology. This person could have been fake. They knew what they was doing with this fake apology energy. They would do stuff. They would make stuff happen. This person would come back and apologize just to be like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Da, 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 da. You know, toxic shit. And this person was like, no, you got to chill out. You can't be doing this. You can't be doing that just to get this person to date them again, take them out again, go back out again. Only to get manipulated and played back into some drama again. Oh, my gosh. Like, this is like a full-on toxic roller coaster type of energy here. This person could have been with somebody because of money, because of finances. Money hungry will do anything. Again, it's like, you know, money hungry doesn't have to be just money. It's just like the materialistic, low vibrational things that people fall for. Like, oh, they have a nice car. Or, oh, they look good. Or, oh, they really take care of themselves. They they dress up fancily. But then what if you, you know what I'm saying, you get with this person, they you find out they dripped out from head to toe. You make it back to their place. Their hygiene is terrible. They don't keep the house clean. They don't take care of their kids. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's all kind of stuff. Or they live off their mommy and daddy money. I don't know. But you, it says you already know the tea on whatever this is. Whoever this is. Somebody is sick. What's going on with this energy for Scorpio? Keeping a promise. Fighting for what you love. Claiming what's yours. Love is a battlefield. So now somebody is like wanting to keep a promise, wanting to fight for what they love here. Somebody's been keeping something a secret, love story, once upon a time. 
somebody is trying to protect themselves from this person. Maybe some of y'all, this person wanted to get pregnant or want to have a baby just to have this new beginning. Or this is the way that they keep that outside glowing is financially living off of another person. <sighs> maybe you were the loving person. You tried to like, you know, maybe you was always loyal to them and like you tried to protect them in some sort. I don't know. And they could have blocked you. They felt like they needed to protect themselves from you when you were showing them love. They could have looked at it like, oh, you're just hating. I don't know. Now this, per now this person could be wanting to fight for you. Prove to you that they care about you. That they love you. You know. What's going on with this princess and beauty card? Someone doesn't want to be seen. Now somebody trying to hide out. Somebody trying not to be seen. They don't want to be seen for who they truly are. A second chance is someone's getting a second chance. A cry for help. So, yeah, single woman, not the committed type, happy relationship. So somebody could be stuck in a relationship with a person that just doesn't want to be there. They don't want the relationship. They don't want to be in it anymore. A cry for help and second chances, but they want a second chance with this person or they want a second chance with you here, but somebody's realizing they don't want to be in this anymore. My nose is itchy. I'm sorry. It's like somebody was doing too much. The overwork card is here. So somebody was doing too much. Like they was, they was doing everything they could to get into this relationship only to find out they really didn't want the relationship. They just, they could have been blocking a second chance with you. For some of y'all with the second chances, like they just, it's like they really didn't want the relationship. They didn't want the connection. They just didn't want this person to be with you type of energy. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Planning a secret escape. Total eclipse. And hustler. Yeah, somebody got hustled. Somebody got hustled for a connection. Somebody could have caused chaos, caused all kind of things for this type of connection here. Only for somebody to find out that they didn't want to be with this person. They could have they could have went back to somebody else that they loved. What the hell? What's going on with the princess and the beauty card? What's the princess and the beauty card? Fake news, PTSD. This person, they're not even authentic at all. They're not authentic at all. Hold on, guys. All right, let's see. This fake news. They, yeah, they're not who they appear to be. What's the princess with the beauty card? Damn, look what popped out. Liar. Marriage. Soulmate. Divine soul connection. Same sex. Some of y'all, this person was lying about their sexuality. Like they were lying that they wanted to be with you or they wanted to be in love with you and they could have wanted to be with the opposite sex. Others of y'all, this person could have been lying about being married or being in a connection or being committed to another person. Ooh. Burnout, hacked, stripped and cleansed. This person just wanted to, it's like, this person just wanted to create chaos is what I'm getting. Between two people or a person that loved another person. Like, they just wanted to be like, I'm just going to fuck this up. I just want to fuck this up. Misery loves company type of energy. They didn't want anything out of it. They didn't want long-term commitment. They just wanted to just fuck some shit up. Burn out, hack, strip and cleanse. And somebody, I see somebody like releasing this. Whoa. What's the princess with the beauty card about for Scorpio? Very disrespectful. Strong female has been through a lot. It's like somebody... So, Somebody seen this woman here, this beauty card. Say this woman or man here, you know, somebody that's off of the looks, uh, you know, stuff like that. They were a snake. They seen this other person over here with this princess. You could be your own knight, right? That always has to fight for everything and get everything that they want out of life. You know, like really put in work, really put in hard effort and work. Maybe they weren't, again, born with a silver spoon in their mouth or maybe they weren't as privileged or something like that. This person could have been in their ego like, oh, well, they don't deserve that. I deserve that. So they were willing to like lie, be dis disrespectful, grimy, dirty type of energy to like try to take this other person out or knock this other person off of their chariot because they felt I'm better than them.
I'm better than them, so I deserve it. It real spoiled bratty type of energy, you know. And they were willing to like go to war with this person. But this was somebody that somebody needed to let go of the X Factor and gaslighting. This person gaslights, they manipulate, they do whatever they need to to make sure somebody's not connected to an ex. So say, say for example, say you're connected to your ex, right? And this is the new person they meet. And they look, you know, beautiful, attractive, handsome, whatever, right? But this person has like that hidden, that, that, that uh, snake represents jealousy, envy, backstabbing, deceit. Like this person's very dark on the inside, okay? And so somebody's seeing somebody like, you know, a threat, like, and you could just be minding your own little business, doing your own little thing. You already done been through a lot. You done went through hell and high water to get what you, where you are today. And so this person looked at you and was like, mm, I'm going to take them down. I don't know. What is this? I've been in this energy all day. These past, these readings here, it's crazy. It's like a, a evil vicious jealous envious as person i don't know this is crazy what's the princess with the beauty card the flags was there somebody didn't see the red flags on this set up someone's being set up somebody got set up energy interference this is like somebody saying gamble taking a risk somebody looked at this as a game somebody looked at this as a game like i bet you this is like this is like somebody was like, I bet you I can break their relationship up so that I can get with this person only to, only to tell them I don't even want to be with them no more. Watch me. And then they went and did it. And this person fell for it. And you're like, hey, I think, you know, yada, yada, yada. I don't think you should do that. I don't know. It could have been a friendship, family member, whatever. This person was like, oh, watch me. Watch me tear a wedge in between this or watch me. I don't know. Somebody had a game plan here. It was a setup. Somebody wanted to do something because they think it's fun or they think it's funny or they get a kick out of it. Do you know how sick minded that shit is? Smudge, cleanse your space, phone and self. Somebody screamed ghost extremes for attention and catfish. Somebody got catfished. Somebody got catfished here. Says someone's not who they appear to be. This was a snake. This was like a test. A test to see how strong your connection is or how strong your love was for a person. And somebody came in like, oh, I'm lucky. I'm this person. You should, I'm I'm gonna be a missed opportunity. Da da da. A cry for help and single woman. This person could have, you know, again, played victim, male or female, played victim, played innocent, and all this other stuff. Fancy living. They could have flashed their, their money, their jewels, their abundance, whatever, to get this person to. It's like, it's like a game to somebody. This is crazy. This is a game to somebody. That's what I'm getting out of it. It's a game. And this person will lie, cheat, steal, degrade, abuse, whatever they need to to get what they want just because of their satisfaction. They'll be like, ha, see, I made it happen. And not give two fucks about it. What's going on with Scorpio with this reading? What's going on? Broke ass. Now somebody could be going through financial poverty or like feeling left out in the cold here. Grudge holder, boss bitch. It's like somebody missed out on a great opportunity because of this. Because somebody had ill intent or somebody felt some type of way towards somebody. This could have been somebody they wanted to sleep with or somebody that they wanted somebody to cheat on or, or get away from here. Ain't shit played out. Bad karma. It's crazy. Whoever this is, they didn't do nothing but rack up their own karma. Bad karma that. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Fishing for comments. Creativity mantra. This is the type of person that does this and be like, okay, now let me go check and see if it worked. Let me go check and see if it worked. Let me go sleep with this person's person, be the side chick, be the side dude. Let me fuck on this person, you know, be a fuck buddy. Let me pretend we're just friends and I'm going to whisper shit in this person's ear just to see if it's going to work. Watch, watch I make it, watch I make this person reject them. They lost their chance or you did. 
And now somebody is missing out on an opportunity with somebody rejected because that's exactly what they did. Talking shit, uninterested, happiness hater. They didn't want to see this person happy with this person or they didn't want to see this person, whether it was friends, lovers, whatever, they didn't want to see y'all two together. So this person conjured this shit up to make this shit happen. Do you know how, do you know how ill, yeah, somebody was threatened by you. Threatening, intimidated, threatened, and bothered. Somebody, something about you just bothers this person. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protect by hate. It's like they knew by causing chaos. They knew by causing drama. They knew by doing all of this, you would stay far away. And so they did it, and then they would go watch. What's going on with Scorps, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? Drama started. Thank you. These cards ain't doing thief. It says, rob, lost, theft, physical, or emotional. This person was willing to cause drama, chaos, conflict, steal from you, take from you, whatever they needed to do to make sure you didn't get this opportunity or make sure this person wouldn't come towards you. I don't know. Hustling. Making sure you would miss out on the opportunity here. Always parting. Divination abuser. Crying over you. Extra triggered. Like, it's like this person, if this person was upset that they couldn't be with you or you were upset that they couldn't be with you. I don't know. They would manipulate to make sure you two wouldn't be together. This person could have been doing dark magic as well. You know, spell casting, that type of energy. What's going on? Blocked in reverse. Bad habits, wasting time. Look, boss daddy. Like if you say, say you two were partners or whatever and y'all were trying to build a business and stuff like that. This person could have been sleeping with that person and been like, you know, pillow talk. Like, you shouldn't partner up with them because I heard this or I heard that. I heard blah, 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 blah. This And it, it was a waste of time them doing this because this was toxic. They were putting this person in a toxic spiral because they didn't want this person to come towards you here with this block card in reverse. Y'all, maybe y'all two were still talking, but this person felt threatened. Something about you made them feel threatened. And so, look, incarcerated, moving on, thank you, next. They made it, this person feel like in order to be with them or be be in their energy or be stuck with them, they had to move on from you or let you go or get away from you in some sort of way. Yeah, you, you needed to be ghosted. What's going on? What's going on, this for? Ain't shit. Bad habits. Okay. You could have read this person. I'm telling you, you could have seen through this person and seen who they truly were. They did not like that. They did not like that because they realized that you still had love for this person or this person still loved you or respected your advice or respected how you cared about their well-being. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's still people I have love for. I don't talk to, you know, but I, like, I don't think that's a good idea. But, you know, I mean, you do what you want to, but I really don't think. And they respect my opinion. And then at the end of the day, they say, you know what? I'm so glad I didn't do that because it turned out this way. And I dodged a the bullet there. You know, you could have, you could be very intuitive. And you could notice somebody ain't worth two cents in a quarter. And you was like, I don't know if you should do that. And then this person, you know, pillow talking, well, I think that it is. I, and they lied and, and became disrespectful. They could have been disrespectful and rude to you. You know, all kind of stuff. All because you seen through them. What's going on? Fake smiles. This person could pretend to be happy in your face. Very low vibrational here. Again, queen rising. Stepping into power. Praise coming up. Spotlight. You could be somebody very successful. Be somebody very abundant. Be someone that stands in their power. Knows their value. Knows their worth. Right? Male or female. And maybe they came to you with a, a business a situation. They was like, hey, you know, I really... Or they went to them. Hey, I really want to talk to them. I'm going to go talk to them or whatever. They said... No, they might have went back and like, yeah, well, they said it might not be a good idea. And they were like, well, why are you listening to them? They don't know what they're talking about. When in fact, you did. You see what I'm saying? In fact, you did. You knew exactly what you were talking about. You didn't, you didn't come up and you didn't make this happen all from just sitting around looking pretty. Like you had to go through the hustle, the bustle, getting it out the mud to make it happen. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? 
boss bitch thank you spirit runs on business stable busy multifaceted carlos now this person there it's like they want see moves in silence man for money this person here is like they wanted to be with this person out of money, finance, and stability, right? So they were moving in silence, but only to find out they weren't getting anywhere. Nothing was happening. Nothing was growing. Nothing was expanding. Why are you over here minding yours? And your boss energy, building things. Yeah, and somebody's mad about that. Grudge holder and reflecting. Now somebody's looking back and realizing, like, that's the reason why that person didn't want me to partner up with them. Or that's the reason that person didn't want me to work with them. Because they knew better. They knew better. Maybe somebody's really realizing, like, man, they, they did that shit out of love. They didn't have to tell me that. They did that out of love because they didn't want me to go through the same mistake. You know, a mother figure, for example. You know, maybe a mother figure tells you, like, hey, I really don't think you should go about that way. We really don't think you should do that. And, you know, not just a hating ass mother figure, but a real mother figure. And they told him, it was like, they did that shit out of love. And then... I don't know, the person you with was like, oh, well, fuck that person, nah, 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 fuck your mama. First of all, anybody say that, honey. They... Anyway, I don't know. Very disrespectful and rude. That right there should tell you. I don't know. Child services. Yeah, this person could have made this person very irresponsible. Or maybe you was telling this person, like, hey, you shouldn't do that. You know, it's, it's about the kids or... Um, you should be more responsible or maybe you should think long term, something like it, it could have had something to do with children. And this person felt offended. They again, they coming off as the beauty person. Like everything's perfect over here. I'm the, OK, you may spend more time on your looks than you do with your kids type of energy. Or you may think you perfect, Patty, and you're not like I may not look like I like if I go out, go out in public, best believe my kids are going to have everything they need. They're going to be very well taken up. But I might look a little bummy. It's because I don't really give a fuck, okay? I don't care. As long as my kids are good, I don't care. Nine times out of ten, I try to throw some clothes on, but I be tired, okay? I be real tired. But best believe my kids will look good, okay, at the end of the day. But maybe you just a very humble, you know, don't really give a fuck about how people look at you type of person. You know, you run to the dollar store. Maybe you don't throw on fancy clothes. You just run to the dollar store real quick. Maybe you a a, a tennis shoe wearing t-shirt and, and stretchy pants person, right? Maybe this other person like to get all bedazzled and shit before they go somewhere. They're like, well, you should trust me because I look better. Just because you look better don't mean nothing. Some of the most humblest people, wealthiest and humblest people, dressed in regular schmegler clothes. Queen rising and too busy winning. Now somebody's seeing it for what it is. Same shit, just a different day. And they see it ain't changing. Like you, you haven't, you haven't fallen. You haven't dropped. You know what I'm saying? You, you still on your shit. Like consistency. Maybe you was trying to tell somebody like, hey, you gotta be consistent. Hey, you gotta do this. Hey, you gotta do that. And this person didn't want to. They don't listen to you because they listen to the pretty face. Like, oh, well, you shouldn't have to do that. You should be able to just do this. Or, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What's going on? Give me a couple more cards for Scorps. Too busy winning. Scarcity tactics. Somebody wanted to win at all costs that they felt like they knew every single thing. And somebody done called somebody else to, like, fuck up. Creativity mantras, scarcity tactics, and neglect, child neglect. Being This is negligence, being left out in the cold here. It was a dirty offer. You know, maybe somebody, maybe somebody like, I hope not, but maybe somebody was like, well, they don't know how to, you shouldn't listen to them. They don't know how to parent properly. They're not a good parent. Or they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to do, honey, mind your business, okay, because Nobody should be telling another person how to parent or co-parent or handle a situation. Honey, that happened to me. And baby, that's all I'm going to say. Don't come over here trying to tell me how to parent. I know what I'm doing, honey. I'm I'm not, this ain't, I ain't, I done been, a, I done been around the block two times, okay? I know what I'm doing here. A uh, spiritual hater. Forcer, I told you, some of y'all have like, What's the word? Insight. Some of y'all see things for what it is. You see somebody trying to force something, trying to make something happen, like overstepping their boundaries, feeling entitled. And you're like, what are you doing? I don't know. Some of y'all peep this. 
Some of y'all already peeked this and you had the photo proof and the evidence of this. Look, screenshots, photo proof, getting evidence. Haunted. It, it happened to you already. What's going on with Scorps? Somebody was like a control freak or like controlling and they try to be controlling they was toxic like this is how you should parent or this is how you should do this and it was toxic as fuck like that's toxic why would you why would i do that to my kids or why would i do that to my business that's crazy i don't know somebody yeah bankrupt idol love respect admired idolized it's like somebody didn't want some you could have a very respectable opinion you, you bring it from the heart and you're like, hey, you know, that, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's completely up to you. You know, maybe somebody always comes to you for advice, Com comes to you for an opinion. You know, they really, they really like, and you're like, okay, I really want to listen to this opinion because they always have good opinion. They do make good ideas. I mean, they do come up with good ideas or they make good decisions. They ain't in jail. They ain't, they ain't fucked up here. They ain't did this here. You know what I'm saying? And then instead of listening to you, they went to the pretty face and was like, well, I just go off of what they said, only to find out that the way they said something was toxic as hell. It was a bad decision. It put them in a bad habit. This is like going to somebody and saying, hey, do you think I should try this so-and-so drug? And the person's like, well, I tried it once. I didn't get addicted. And then you go try it, and then your ass addicted. And if you would have went to the other person like, "I, ah, you shouldn't try that, honey. You don't need that in your body. You, Honey, don't, don't believe the hype on that. See, if they would have went to that person and believed and trusted that person, they would have been fine. But now they addicted on drugs and all this other. You see what I'm saying? Somebody didn't want you to be. Somebody wanted you to be viewed as like an empty vessel. Like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't have good advice. You're trying to lead somebody down a dark road. When in fact, they were the wolf in sheep's clothing the whole entire time. They were the snake. They were the snake. Somebody took bad advice here. And it's it's all because they wanted this person told this person this just because they wanted to be looked at like, I want this position, I want to be with this person, or I want to be in this spot. Somebody took bad advice. This is like going to somebody and telling somebody you don't know nothing about investing in stocks. And then all of a sudden you tell this person, Hey, you should invest in this stock. Well, why? Because I seen it. Blah, blah, blah. And then they go invest in it and then they lose all their fucking money. And if you would have went to the fucking pro. Or the person that knew better, you would have got your money. <laughs> no, that's crazy. I don't know. What's going on with Scorpio? Give me a couple more cards here. That, yeah, bankrupt. Impersonator. Cyberbully. Low IQ. And then this person could have bullied you. They could have been stalking you, watching you, trying to be like you, trying to, you know, trying to come off like, oh, I'm better than Scorpio, or I'm better than this, I'm this, I'm that, you know. Because they were they were cock blocky. They want this. They wanted this person to look at you like you don't have any value, any worth, any nothing. Like coming to you is the the stupidest, dumbest thing they could do. When you've always moved out of love for this person, what's going on? Give me another one. They want to ruin your reputation. That is something about this this person, the chasing cart. They it's like they wanted this person to chase after them or like come towards them or always. Running, chasing, same shit, just a different day. I don't know. This person could have been a, this could be a twin flame dynamic now, but it's like somebody wanted. Oh my god, what they wanted they didn't get. They got bad karma. Somebody wanted to be looked at and viewed as the ideal person with a beauty card. The ideal person. This person may be beautiful on the outside, but baby, brain wise, this person is not that intelligence like they don't have the street smarts or they don't have the business smarts maybe this person sleep they way to the top or maybe they was just born with a, a, a silver spoon in their mouth they not, they may not even know how to run a damn business but they out here trying to give business uh, advice have you ever ran a business have you ever ran numbers have you ever been in a successful relationship and you out here trying to pass out advice to somebody somebody went the wrong damn way that's what they did okay i'm just gonna be honest here somebody went the wrong way and now somebody looking crazy because now they done lost it all listening to this person Ooh, child. anything else the scorps poverty i'm not even about to pull them 
unexpected income. Somebody could have had this, but instead they went and listened to somebody. Now they're in this poverty. Their investments aren't paying off. They were. It's like they were thinking they was going to get a level up. They was going to get a come up. Only to find out that they in poverty. They in debt. They being left out in the cold. Shit's not happening the way they thought that it was going to happen. You know, they could have looked. You could have. I'm telling you, like, you could be looked at. Somebody look at you and be like, man, that person don't know what they're doing. Da, 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 da. All because of the outside appearance. Now, this is why you don't judge a book by its cover. Somebody could have looked and said, oh, no, they don't know what they're doing. Little, did, little do they know. You run two whole multi-million dollar businesses. You just don't go out there showing that you a multi-millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Like people get it, people get it twisted. You don't have to, you don't have to look like you a multi. I me for one, I'm not gonna go out and wear all these fancy clothes and stuff like that so people can see that I make money. Why would I do that? Do you know how you setting yourself up, fool? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. I mean, it's okay to dress up and look nice. That's a, that's one thing. But to, like, have the fanciest car, the biggest house, all this. I'm sorry, but I'm a cheap ass, okay? <laughs> I'm a cheap person, okay? I am. And I don't feel like I have to keep up with the Joneses just to prove that I make money. You see what I'm saying? Baby, I will wear the same shirt that I've been wearing for the past five years, okay? I will recycle my shit. All right, because <laughs> I'm not going to keep buying new stuff. I'm sorry. I'm not that type. I'm not a materialistic person. Now, there's some people that are. Okay, don't get me wrong. But um, I'm not into that. Maybe maybe you're that type of person. Maybe you're very humble. You know, I I grew up not really having anything in my life. Like, we struggled. You see what I'm saying? And so anything that I do have, I hold, like, hold on to it for dear life because I'm like, you know, I worked hard for this. <laughs> like, I paid this off. Okay. I paid this off. I worked hard to pay that off. And baby, I'm, I'm, I'm I, why, why would I need something else when I worked hard to pay that off? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, but I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Somebody fell for the okie doke. Mature man. Now somebody had to learn a lesson here. Pathway could have went the wrong way. Concern card. Yep. Thoughts in reverse. Somebody didn't think this out. They just went for it. They didn't think this out. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Somebody didn't think this out, but this was a lesson learner for somebody. False person. Because somebody believed somebody or went towards somebody or partnered up and worked with somebody that wasn't who they appeared to be. They were thinking, yeah, this is a great person. I'm going to partner up with this person. I'm going to take this person's advice. Or I'm going to deal with this person, get in a relationship with this person, only to find out it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that. Okay. Yeah, it may be despair, courthouse. And that's their karma. That's their karma. Somebody could have been really moving out of love. You know, somebody they, they were meant to keep a promise to. And they didn't. Instead, they went towards this. And they got bamboozled. They got, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> House, community, message. And then it's like the, the journey card. And then it's like it, it, it's been seen. Like people see this. People can see the outcome of this. That's the sad thing about it. People see the outcome of this. Like they see that somebody's not who they appear to be or somebody was not who they appear to be. Woo, this is messy. Okay, well, <laughs> this is what I have for y'all. I'll probably do some more readings later. I'm gonna go visit the fam again. So I'll holler at y'all later. I hope y'all have an amazing day and I appreciate y'all so much for watching and subscribing and all the likes and shares on the channel. Hope it gives you some clarity and insight and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye guys.